This feels good. It feels good to be back in familiar surroundings. We are back home and back in the studio sharing and discussing cruise news. Of course, the big cruise news story today in the industry is Carnival Cruise Line's decision to once again raise gratuities, this time by over 10%. Many aren't unhappy with that. We will discuss that. But their second announcement, to raise internet prices by upwards of 25% is a different story. Let's talk about cruising and cruise news right now on Island Time. A big happy Wednesday to all you Islanders. We're halfway through the week and I am so happy to be here back in the studio. I will never take for granted this time and opportunity almost every single day that you and I have to share this time together. I covet it and I thank you for joining the show today as I do every day. Let's drop our anchors, take some time and relax in the islands together. Of course, Amanda and I are working tirelessly on our vlogs. We cannot wait to share the hours of content that we captured. We're chopping it up, splicing it up, sharing those best moments with you, and look out for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be part one of our vlog, which captures the chaos that Southwest Airlines caused. We had to rent a car instead of drive to Houston. We will capture that. We will capture and share with you the moments of the night before the cruise. One of my favorite days is that day before embarkation day, walking around the Strand and Galveston. We can't wait to share everything with you. Make sure you're subscribed. You've rang that bell to receive notifications. You'll always receive those notifications when we upload content, including our vlogs from the cruise. We have New Year's Eve to share with you on board. We have so much to share with you. We're going to do so over the next seven to 10 days, so look out for that. But for now, let's talk about this. The big news in the industry today is prices going up. Once again, it seems like every single week we're sharing news from a particular cruise line that prices are going up. Carnival shared news late yesterday evening that they are raising their prices for their gratuities, which they give to their team members, and for internet. And I already know what you're thinking. You're thinking what I thought. When I received that email, I said, didn't this just happen? Didn't Carnival Cruisers just receive an email that said just about the same thing? And that answer is, yes, they did. In May of 2021, prices went up 51 cents. We remember that probably like it was yesterday. For a standard stateroom, pricing was $13.99 per person. It went up to $14.50. For those in suites, it was $15.99 going up to $16.50 per day. It seems like it was yesterday. That did happen in May of 22. 51 cents. This increase that Carnival Cruise Line has shared is a little bit more substantial. It's over a 10% increase. Not that I'm complaining at all about it. I'm sharing the news with you as things continue to go up. Here's what you need to know. First off, this pricing is set to take place April the 1st. You can prepay gratuities if you would like, and you can get the old rates up to April the 1st. If you pay gratuities ap after April the 1st, you will pay these new prices. Here's the new prices. Standard staterooms, which is most staterooms on board, are going up from $14.50 to $16 per person per day. Those who choose to stay in suite rooms, that price is going up from $16.50 to $18 per person Per day. Now to put it in perspective for you, a family of four, which is my family, going on a seven night cruise will pay almost $450 in automatic gratuities. 450 bucks, okay, for a family of four. Now Carnival did remind everyone that if you would like to adjust your gratuities, either up and give more or down and give less, it's totally up to the passenger. You go to guest services. Once you're on board, gratuities are charged usually about halfway through the cruise. And you can go and give more if you would like. 
A lot of people give cash on top of these gratuities, but you can also go to guest services and say, I don't want to pay that much, or I don't want to pay anything at all. I do not encourage anyone to do that, but Carnival shared that this is an option. These grant gratuities are not mandatory, although some of you think they should be. The question today is, do you think gratuities should be automatically charged and not able to be taken off? Or do you think that this system should remain, that you can increase or decrease or remove entirely the gratuity? Let us know in the comment section below. We can't wait to see what you have to say about this topic. We hope you're enjoying the show today. If so, give us a thumbs up as we head into our next story, which is another price hike by Carnival, this time announcing that internet prices, which were just raised a couple of months ago, are going to go up again. This time, some packages going up 25%. Here's the news on this. The new pricing model is going to be in effect January the 16th, so this one has some shorter time to respond to. You can get the old price if you would like, if you want to pre-purchase your internet package, if you wait till after January the 16th to purchase internet, here is your new pricing for the social plan, which some of you get to keep up to date with social media. It was $10.20 per person per day. It's one, one uh, device. It's going up to $12.75. The value plan, $14.45 before. It's going to look like $17 after. And the premium plan was $17 before. It's now going to cost $18.70 for one device, uh, for one person. What's the issue? Should there be an issue with these price hikes? When it comes to gratuities, I'm fine with it. $1.50 per person per day, like I mentioned earlier. I usually play, pay my gratuities that Carnival charges me and I tip in addition to every single day. Almost every drink I order, uh, random uh Workers that come up and clean off tables, I usually give them a couple dollars. I like to carry around $2 bills and give those to different people that we see cleaning and doing things around the ship. I don't have a problem at all with raising gratuities for those team members who earn that money. Where I do have an issue with price increases, and you may agree with me, is on the internet. We've seen different cruise lines, Royal Caribbean and others, invest in their infrastructure, have Starlink, have fast internet on board, and they have raised their prices as well, but you get a better product. They've invested in that infrastructure. And Carnival Cruise Line, they've shared so many times, we're investing in our infrastructure, we're keeping what we have in place, but we're going to make it better, we promise. We haven't seen that. We cruised, I think, nine times in 2022, we spent almost $1,000 on internet alone on board because everyone knows when we cruise, we love to take you with us. We love to go live. We love to show you what's going on. So we always buy the premium internet package and we have always had issues with it. I've walked around live before and it goes in and out. You guys know that. You stay with me. You love to see the content that I capture on board, but we've always had an issue with it. And my issue with Carnival's announcement on internet prices, if you're going to raise the price, then invest in your infrastructure. Offer a better product. Don't offer the same product that you're offering, but ask more and more for it. Hopefully, Carnival has an announcement coming soon. Maybe that they're going to partner with Starlink. It would be great. Just because Royal Caribbean has done it doesn't mean that Carnival can't. I do have an issue with the raises in internet because we're not getting a good product. And I know some of you, you've already reached out. I shared this on Facebook yesterday. If you're not on our Facebook page, get the link in the comment section below. Join that Facebook page. We had a thread about this yesterday and someone called me stupid for paying for that premium internet package over and over and over knowing that it would not work. And I disagree. I had frustrations. I never go to guest services and say your internet is not working like it says it's supposed to. I just deal with it. I go on. I capture content as much as I can. We fight through it together. But I do purchase it over and over. But I think it's a fair statement that if Carnival, you want me to pay more, you offer a better product. And that's hopefully what we will see in 2023. We will see. Islanders, what do you think about these price hikes? Do you agree with both of them? Are you okay 
with the increase in gratuities are you okay with the increase in internet let us know in the comment section below we can't wait to see what you have to say and we cannot wait to share all the content that we've captured as part of our vlogs the first one coming out tomorrow we hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week we'll see you in the comment section below on facebook and of course tomorrow right here on island time